Hi, this is the first video of chapter 2, Perfect Competition. And in this video we are going to talk about consumer and producer surplus. Let's to begin. Imagine a situation where we have this demand and this supply in the market. Okay, so the price in the market will be given by the point where both the demand and the supply cross between them. So the quantity exchange in this market will be Q0 and the price will be 5. But then the demand is giving us further information. It provides us information about which is the reservation price of each consumer. For example, Consumer A will be here and his reservation price will be $10 for a good that in the market only has a price of $5. So this consumer is going to enjoy a benefit of this difference, 10 minus 5, his surplus will be 5. Here we will we'll have a consumer B whose reservation price is 7. Okay, so if my reservation price is 7 and the market price is 5, my surplus is 7 minus 5 equal to 2. Then we have consumer C who values the good exactly at the same price than it has in the market. So, consumer C has no surplus, no benefit. Then the total surplus for all the consumers will be given by this triangle because we have to sum all the different prices, reservation prices that the demand is giving us for different consumers. And if the demand is like this, we will have all these prices from 5 to the maximum that are, will be reservation prices and all this, the difference between all or the same, which is the area above the market price and below the demand, this area will be the consumer surplus, meaning the surplus for the whole quantity of consumers that we have in the market. Then we also are going to have producer surplus. The producer surplus will be given by the green area. Why? Because it will be the area below the market price and above the supply. Because there will be some producer who will be willing to provide or to supply this this um, good at a lower price below five and they are providing it at a higher price which is five and this difference between the price that you are willing to at which you are willing to provide this good and the price of the market this difference is your surplus or your profit in this case so there will be many producers who will be able to produce at a lower price compared to the market price. So they are having surplus. And if we sum all the surpluses from them, we will have the producer surplus, which, as I have said, is given by this green area. So together, consumer and producer surplus are going to measure the welfare benefit of a competitive market. And now, let's think about it. Economic efficiency will be achieved when aggregate consumers and producer surpluses are maximized. So, a situation where the surpluses are lower will be inefficient compared to this one. Then the perfectly competitive solution is efficient if all the assumptions of the model of perfect competition hold. However, there can be market failures 
For example, some situations in which a regulated competitive market is inefficient because the prices can fail to provide the proper signals to consumers and producers. Basically, under some externalities or imperfect information, but then, then in this case, some of the assumptions of the model will not hold like this one. If we don't have perfect information, we are not able to have a perfect competitive equilibrium. And that's all for the moment. See you in the next video.